Hi, my name is Jonathan, and first of all, I love you very much, and you are awesome. Just because you're watching my vlog. <laughs> um, I'd like to talk about my personal experience with the Holy Spirit. How uh, I experienced the Holy Spirit in the Charismatic Movement within the Protestant Evangelical Church versus how I experienced the Holy Spirit later in my life in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Now, first of all, I'm a convert to Eastern Orthodoxy. Um, I grew up in the Reformed Church of America. And I went to a Methodist school, Asbury College, and um, was in the vineyard for six years and was a very, um, very passionate, charismatic Christian. I still am to a degree. I still am um, care. I do express um, charismatism in my worship. Um, I still consider myself a charismatic Christian. But um, there is a difference in how this, a Holy Spirit is experienced in the charismatic movement versus how the Holy Spirit is experienced in the Eastern Orthodox Church, or how I experienced the Holy Spirit. I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. I had experience I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I was baptized in the Holy Spirit when I was a sophomore in college. And a very profound experience for me because... As a result of my being baptized in the Holy Spirit, I was able to worship God more fully with my whole being, um, at least in my spirit, um, worshiping God in my spirit, um, 100% as a result of being baptized in the Holy Spirit. And it enabled me to flow with the, the gifts, the spiritual gifts, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Um, it just really blessed my life. But I went to do a... Uh, Comparison. Well, for like five years ago, okay, I started my pilgrimage towards the Eastern Orthodox Church and um, experienced nepsis, which in Greek means awareness. Um, nepsis is a form of meditation within the, both, both the Eastern Orthodox and Oriental Orthodox churches. Um, it's, in Greek, it means awareness or vigilance. And nepsis is a form of, of more mild but very constant, continual meditation. And I first experienced Nepsis when I went to my first Divine Liturgy. I acquire Nepsis first by going to Divine Liturgy. That's where I, I acquired Nepsis, um, meditation. Acquiring the Holy Spirit, a different way of experiencing the Holy Spirit, through Nepsis, going to Divine Liturgy. And then when I was, when I was chrismated to Orthodox Church, um, experiencing Nexus through taking the Eucharist, um, taking the, the, the very actual body and blood of Christ. Um, so, how to explain this? Like in the charismatic movement, how I experience the Holy Spirit, it's, a lot, it's more emotional. It's actually compared to how the Holy Spirit is ex experienced through Nepsis. It's not a pure form of the Holy Spirit, it's very emotional. Um, but God is a very emotional person. I know God personally. And God is a very emotional person. So it's not completely bad. But there are... Because in the charismatic movement, the Holy Spirit is experienced very emotional. It's not purely the Holy Spirit. A lot of it is my own flesh. Um, at least my experience. It's very emotional, so it goes up and down. You have up and down experiences where you're filled with the Holy Spirit, whether, like in my time of... Like, before I became Eastern Orthodox, um, quiet time, my own reading the Bible and prayer time, um, just worshiping the God, on, worshiping, being, worshiping God in the Spirit on my own, um, just being filled with the Holy Spirit. And then, like, going throughout the day, going while in work or school, having low moments of, of my experiencing not being filled with the Holy Spirit. Like, so it goes up and down, like in the charismatic movement. At least my experience with the Holy Spirit was it goes up and down, it goes in waves. So, like, go through dry spells. And, like, that's what a lot of evangelical Christians um, talk about in their own walk with God, having dry experiences, like desert experiences, their relationship with God, having dry spells, and then um, more fruitful times in their, in their walk with God, uh, of just being feeling close to God and having moments where they feel really close to God. So it goes up and down the charismatic movement. But first of all, when I became an Eastern Orthodox Christian, when I experienced Nepsis, the Holy Spirit experienced through Nepsis, I stopped having dry spells. 
I no longer have desert experiences um, with my relationship with God. Because in Eastern Orthodoxy, the, experiencing the Holy Spirit is not up and down. It's very steady, constant, a little bit more mild, not so emotional, more constant, like a crescendo, very gradually going up, so that the Holy Spirit never leaves me. Um, like Jesus Christ had promised that the, he would send the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit would never leave you, would never leave the church. So, like, Nap says, experiencing the Holy Spirit in the, within Eastern Orthodoxy is, is constant and never fails. You never, um, I never stop experiencing the Holy Spirit, even when I'm asleep. Um, I did not experience that, at times I experienced that when I was a charismatic Christian. But now that I'm Eastern Orthodox Christian, even when I'm sleeping, every night, every single night I'm sleeping, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit and experience the Holy Spirit even in my sleep. I experience the Holy Spirit throughout the day no matter what I'm doing, whether it's my chores, whether it's working, everything I do, um, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is, not, is more than just emotional within experiencing the Holy Spirit through Nepsis. Holy Spirit is more holistic. It involves... Worshiping God in the Spirit with my entire body. Worshiping God in the Spirit with my mind and with my whole, it's very holistic, with my entire self. So the Holy Spirit never leaves me. Um, I don't want to like drag this vlog on. But like, uh, one significant difference between the charismatic movement within the Protestant Evangelical Church and um, the Holy Spirit experience through Eastern Orthodoxy is how you maintain your experience, your daily walk with the Holy Spirit. How, I main how I've acquired to maintain um, being filled with the Holy Spirit 24-7. A big aspect of it is um, related to different styles of worship. Within um, Eastern Orthodoxy, the liturgy, the Divine Liturgy, is itself a it's like a microcosm of the entire universe. The Divine Liturgy is a microcosm of the rest of my life, of everything I do the rest of my day, the rest of my week. Um, it's, not, it's more than just a sanctuary, it's more than just a church. It's a very mystical experience for the Divine Liturgy, the sanctuary, um, behind the iconostasis, everything. It's, basically, the Divine Liturgy is um, a model of of temple worship. That's where the Divine Liturgy comes from, is the Judaic temple worship. It's modeled on um, like the five books of the law, how temple worship is supposed to look like. So it's um, like the temple is a microcosm of the entire universe and of my entire life, both. So that um, when I worship God, when I experience the Holy Spirit in Divine Liturgy, I take that experience, I take the Divine Liturgy with, with me throughout the entire week. I take my experience of experiencing the Holy Spirit through Nepsis um, throughout the entire week by having, experiencing the Holy Spirit in the Divine Liturgy throughout the entire week. That's what, like, the, divine, the Holy Spirit does, like, when, you, when I leave Divine Liturgy, the Holy Spirit does not leave me. Um, it's all of my life, my, wor my workplace, my home life, um, the entire universe is itself the temple, is itself the divine liturgy. It's a very mystical experience, hard to explain to me. And how that contrasts with the charismatic movement is, when I was a charismatic Christian, charismatic evangelical Protestant, um, the Holy Spirit, I experienced the Holy Spirit being filled with the Holy Spirit in, like, in a church service. And it's like, that's where I became one with God, experienced the Holy Spirit. And after I left the sanctuary, um, it's like the Holy Spirit started to drain from me because I experienced the world, um, you know, whatever. But it's a complete opposite experience with the Holy Spirit within Eastern Orthodoxy. So, like, it's as if within charismatic movement and evangelical Protestantism, the Holy Spirit stays in the sanctuary, and you leave the sanctuary, and you start to be drained with living the life. But it's a complete opposite. And for the Divine Liturgy, the Divine Liturgy is a model within Eastern Orthodoxy of your entire life, the entire universe. So, you leave the Divine Liturgy, I leave the Divine Liturgy and still follow the Holy Spirit. Hard to explain. But that's, I should stop here, because I'm, I'm dragging on here. But...
I wanted to express that because I believe the Holy Spirit is completely experienced within the Eastern Orthodox Church. Um, more so than within the charismatic movement because um, there's a lot of, even though emotions is good because God is emotional, it's too emotional in the charismatic movement experiencing the Holy Spirit. Um, and it's very um, dualistic, very uh, thinking you're better than other people because being baptized in the Holy Spirit is not a second grace. There's no such thing as a second grace. There's, only, there's one baptism within Christianity. There's one grace. So there's not a separate experience where you're experiencing the Holy Spirit um, a second time. Like, uh, okay, I want to stop. Um, it's one grace. So you're already, if, once you've been baptized, you are already baptized in the Holy Spirit. Even if you do not realize it yet, and even if you do not experience it yet, you are already baptized in the Holy Spirit. That, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I love you very much, and you're awesome.